Hey there, so I'm going to show you how to fix the hole in your jeans. Since you clicked on this video, I'd assume that you'd like a more invisible finish. And to do that, you'll need a similar piece of fabric, if not the same, as the one that you're working with. Now, if you don't have a similar piece of fabric and your jeans happen to have some back pockets, you're in luck. Because with these jeans, I don't have a similar type of fabric, but I do have back pockets. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. So to start out, you want to go ahead and measure your tear or hole. Mine is four inches wide by about an inch and a half, two inches if you include the little top piece um, high or tall. All right, so now we're gonna go to your back pocket because you definitely wanna measure this stuff before you start cutting anything. Now, you wanna leave a little space at the top of your pocket so it's not visible from the outside. And I just measured down from there four inches. And then just to be safe, I'm gonna measure about three inches wide. So we're gonna make a three by four rectangle. And some jeans, uh, depending on the wash, you might wanna check the pockets to make sure that they're actually the same color as um, where your uh, rip or tear is. Alright, so now I'm just going to use like um, these sharper scissors to make a hole and then we're going to cut it out. Oh my god, I thought that I cut this, <laughs> but no, it was just the seams are unfinished in the pockets already, so no worries. All right, so here's our 3x4 rectangle and our lovely hole in the pocket. And now we're just going to turn this out, make sure that we didn't cut any holes where we didn't want them. All right, we're good. Okay, and now here's our little patch. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and press this. And to start, I'm just going to make a little knot here in the corner. And then I'm just going to do a bunch of whip stitches all the way around. So yeah, a little story time. <laughs> um, how that hole came to be. So it was already like wearing thin, uh, but it, there wasn't a hole. Not until one faithful day when I was in Target and I wanted to look at some stuff that was down on the bottom shelf. So I pretty much like dropped it low and <laughs> and yeah I was so terrified thankfully I was the only person in that aisle but oh my god I was trying to make sure that it wasn't like as bad as I thought because it was so loud but yeah luckily it wasn't too too bad so but yeah that visit could have turned out like so much worse I would have been ended up like buying new pants or something now we just need to go ahead and fix this really quick. Let me know in the comments, has anything ever happened to you like that? And you'll wanna make sure that you have thread that is the same color or very close, just to make it look a lot more invisible, if you will. And in the case of these jeans, the inside of the pocket was actually darker because of whatever the wash that these uh, jeans went through after being constructed. So luckily the inside of that fabric is actually the same color as the outside. So that's what we're going with.
And now that we're at the end, we just finish it with another knot and we're all done. Alright, so for some you may want to put some interfacing here just for like extra security, but Here we are. She's all sewn up and it's not too bad. Now we need to go fix this pocket situation so you want to use if you can help it, a similar weight fabric or a similar type, whatever you have that's the closest will work best. So I have a piece of canvas and I'm just going to sew it around the same technique as we did with the patch, but on the inside. And so here you go, that's what it looks like on the inside. And the pocket on the outside, here's our, our patch, our little patch job. And now she's ready to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.